Guys, how are we doing? Hope you're good. Welcome to day three, masterclass three out of six. This week, what we are doing is, my microphone's clicked, is we are doing a six session masterclass, okay, over six days. We're gonna be going right up until Friday. And what we are doing is providing tons and tons of content, of information that's gonna help you as a guy be able to kind of look at themselves and ask themselves, do I need to change? Okay, is it time to change? Is it time to resurrect myself? Is it time to be a leader? Is it time to find some direction? Is it time to start prioritizing myself? So listen, if you're coming through, what I want you to do for me is hit the love heart button, okay? And I want you to comment to let me know, um, do you feel that you have strong mental resilience, okay? I'm here a little bit earlier because I'm gonna pick up on my boy from boxing, so uh, he gets a bit nervous if it's on the dot, so I need to leave some fudge time to get down there, priorities and all of that. So. Um, question, do you feel you have good mental resilience or do you feel like it is inconsistent, all right? Tonight is my aim to really go through with you about how we build, okay, mental resilience over this 90-day leap movement, okay? This is a program, this is an opportunity for guys to come through this process from where they are right here, struggling with direction, purpose, wherever they are, um, and making sure that we take them through these two phases. One is a foundational phase of building the basic skills and drills to be able to show up. And then the second phase is embedding that within our brotherhood mastermind. We've got like 130 guys or so in the mastermind, and those guys are showing up every day to be the absolute best version of themselves, okay? And this is coming straight out of one of the mental resilience courses that I taught them and we worked on to build that, that thought in our mind, all right? So, look, this is the thought. This acts as our mind. Everything that we go through is dictated. This is our, H this is our HQ, headquarters. Every decision, every direction, every thought process, every action all comes from this state of mind. So we need to make sure that it is an elite operator state of mind, that it is a thought, okay? And we, it is a thought against all of the chaos that's going on in our lives, all right? So if we look at everything that we're dealing with, and this is not everything, this is just a few things that we're highlighting. So identi identity, um, oh my God, sort it out. Um, personal identity, knowing who we are and where we're going issues. So like when we're clouding, we don't really understand the direction that we're going, we struggle with that identity and that can cause frustration, it can cause stress, it can cause mental and emotional um, anxiety, it causes depression because we don't know what we're trying to achieve, right? Excuses, frustration, overwhelm, negative thoughts, we could go on, this list could be forever, all right? But I think we get the picture and what happens is all of these things, okay, penetrate into our mind and they influence our mindset, okay? So we start building up a picture that our identity, our identity is one of where we're always depressed, Okay, so we keep saying we're depressed, so we must be depressed. We keep saying we're anxious. We keep going through those same emotions and we just keep allowing it to consume our mind. We keep making excuses and it becomes habit. So I'm gonna go for a run, or oh, it's too cold outside. I'm gonna get up early, I just kept pressing snooze. And it would just manifest, okay, into our brains. And it ends up coming straight in here and affecting and piercing that thought which means that our state of mind is not one where we can benefit and learn and grow and embed good habits, skills and drills that are gonna change us, give us more control, more consistency, more clarity, okay? So what we have to do is build up this fort. Now, I use a four pillar format to protect the fort. So if this kind of reminds me of a, um, a FOB in Afghan, like a forward operating base. And in each corner, what we need to make sure that we've got is protection in each corner. So for me, these are the four pillars that create our lifestyle, right? Oh, thanks for the stars, whoever sent them. Thank you very much. Um, and these keep out all of the chaos. So if we're working on health, mentally and emotional and physical, if we're working on our relationships with ourselves, with our loved ones, with our children, with our friends, if we're personally developing, we're constantly learning in a constant state of learning over and over and over again. If we are building our career, enjoying our career or our business or whatever it might be, what we find is balance here, okay? And this acts as a century, as self-defense, as a coping mechanism against these things, okay? All the chaos of life, all the stress of life that's consistently 
pursuing your life, which is stopping you from enjoying your life, which is stopping you fulfilling your capabilities, which is stopping you from being the absolute best version of yourself again, okay? You kind of got stuck in that rut. Now, what we teach in the Elite Mastermind, okay, in the Brotherhood, we, uh, uh, and over these 90 day elite movements is that we teach these fundamentals. These fundamentals are what are your coping mechanisms. These are your self-defense against the chaos, okay? So having a mission, having a direction. So remembering the mission, okay? Understanding that you are going somewhere, understand that there is a path, understand that you're starting to pay more attention to yourself, understand that there is a bigger picture to all of the actions that you are taking, right? Making sure that you have purpose, that we find fulfillment, and we have a constant evolution of that mission. We're constantly evolving. Number, uh, number two is the 1% mark. So moving forward 1% every single day. It is a sense of achievement each day. It's finding no small wins when life and reality just gets the better of you, okay? It's establishing the three Cs. Consistency of action, control of your time and energy, and clarity of where you're going and how you're gonna get there. It's an emotional connection to showing up. So feeling that passion, that drive, that desire to want to win, okay? To get to these stages where you're building foundations, you're embedding them, and then we're growing, okay? Rather than staying in the same place, making the same excuses on the same hamster wheel, constantly living that life of just constantly making excuses. Okay, and then resilience, sorry, elite operator mentality. Okay, the elite operator mentality is setting your status and your standard. Okay, this is my status. This is my standard that I'm setting myself. If you constantly keep lowering your standard and you constantly keep making excuse, guess what results you're gonna get? None, you're not gonna get anywhere with it. And we see it over and over and over again. So what we're trying to do is raise your standards so that you can raise, raise the status of that you are worth gold, you are good enough, okay? You have the, should have the, and will have the confidence to be able to stand up and believe in yourself again and have that higher self-esteem because I just don't think men have enough of it right now and it's something that we just bury our heads in, right? And these present process, progress, foundations, identity and resilience. These build up over time. And these eventually create this thought to become stronger, okay? So it becomes even more fortified. Every time we work on ourselves consistently, you increase that thought, the depth of it, so that this stuff just bounces off. It's like having a force field and all of the chaos and all of the stress and all of the frustration trying to get in here, but you build up such good coping mechanisms, such resilience, that all of that stuff that used to matter, that used to bother you, that used to be a distraction, simply bounces off you. And you become this unbreakable force through this process. And to be honest, by the time you get to this stage, okay, through this stage, we've got lads who are midway through the second week of this stage and are already looking at things differently. They're already shifting their mentality and the way that they see life and the mentality and resilience okay, has just gone through the roof. Simply by paying attention to themselves, simply by changing, okay, the way that they see the world. And all of those guys are gonna be working towards getting their badge, the first badge. So we have the white one, so we have white, bronze, silver, gold, and it recognizes your achievement as you go through the brotherhood journey, as you go through the process. It's about being part of that community and understanding that lads are going through the same thing and have gone through the same issues, but seeing those lads winning now today, seeing the resilience that they've had to show to show that they are winning. All right, guys? So we're gonna be back tomorrow, um, half past seven. We are live tomorrow for the Rise to Thrive show. If you can join me for half past five, it'd be great to see you there. If you wanna be part of this, we have four places left. Doors close on Sunday, or if those four places have gone, all right? It would be great to see you with us in the, in the, in the brotherhood, be part of the community, be part of the family, and take you through this journey to you achieving what you want out of life. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.